So I'll bring it in next time, OK? Yeah, I know. I, one with a little pendant coming down, too, and a little sparkles. I do. Well, I'm wearing it right now, right? Me and Summer, hanging out. So we have 5, 15, and 45, and we want you to find ace of 12. So the first thing, ladies and gentlemen, is we need to determine, well, obviously we look at this and we say it's not an arithmetic, right? But we can determine, is this going to be a geometric? And so what we'll have to do is, if we say this is ace of 1, ace of 2, ace of 3, let's go and make sure that we have a ratio. So we do. Um, 15 over 5, which would be ace of 2 over ace of 1, and 15 over 5 equals 3. Let's just double check, make sure 45 over 15 is going to give us the same ratio, which yes, that's true, right? Mm -hmm. So we could say our, our ratio of this geometric sequence is going to be 3, right? Cool. So now we want to do, we want to find ace of 12. So we need to apply the formula. Remember, our formula for ace of n equals a sub 1 times r to the n minus 1. So if I want to find a sub 12, not yet. We're going to get to those. So if I want to find a sub 12, we plug in a sub 1, which is 5, times our r, which is 3, raised to the 12 minus 1. So I take my hot pink calculator, and I do 3 raised to the 11th power and then multiply that times 5. And I get a sub 12 equals 885,735. OK, and there we go.